Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog actually. Bienvenidos. I know you guys have been loving these more casual vlog style videos and I have been too because they're a lot easier to film and they're just a lot more fun. So that's what we're doing today. Today's vlog is basically me showing you a bunch of new products and new things I've been loving, new things in general that I've been loving. I have home decor, I went to Marshalls, TJ Maxx and Home Goods the other day and I found a lot of cute stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I got and where I've placed everything so far. And then I have new makeup. I literally have, I'm not kidding you guys, I have a drawer full of PR stuff, new things that I haven't tried. Plus I have other things that I have been using recently that I love that I wanna share with you guys. So yeah, I have fragrances, I have foundation and i have highlighters like i have some i have some stuff i want to show you guys and i do want to mention that a portion of today's video is sponsored by pat mcgrath i'm going to be showing you how i've been using their skin fetish sublime perfection foundation recently i was about to talk about it but you guys will see in the video like what my thoughts are on the foundation but we're gonna get into it. i'm gonna get ready right now because i'm thinking of going to target in a little bit to look at the home decor we'll see but let's get started let me get you guys all set up here <laughs> uh i feel like i always wear this bodysuit and i always get questions about it this is from forever 21 i got it from their lingerie section it's one of their seamless bodysuits and i'm wearing it with these like flowy pants these are like the bodysuits are really really low as you can see but i love them because they're so comfortable the only thing is they're kind of sheer so if you follow me on my instagram which if you aren't already what are you doing with your life but i went to an honest beauty event if you what i was trying to say is if you follow me on there you saw that i went to an honest beauty event and they gave me like a bag full of honest beauty products and to be honest <laughs> i had never tried anything from there and recently i've been using their stuff and i've actually been really liking it so i tried out this honest beauty revive and refresh elevated hydration mist and it feels so good on my skin i also i don't know if this is weird but i like the way it sprays it's so like soothing i don't know it's weird but i've used this before and after putting on my foundation and stuff it smells like rose like rose water kind of we're gonna let this set on the skin i like using this little all extra i like using this little fan when i'm doing my makeup as i mentioned in the beginning i am using the pat mcgrath skin fetish sublime perfection foundation and i have mine they sent me three shades so i have the shade 15 they sent me 14 15 and 17 well those are the shades that i have picked so if you're around my skin tone those are probably going to be some really good shades if i was a little bit more tan i would do 17. the reason i didn't do 16 is because i think that one was a little bit more either yellow or more red and i was going for something a little bit more neutral if you know what i mean i don't want anything too orange basically by the way they do have 36 different shades to choose from and i was actually on their website and they have like a really good system and photos of literally what every single foundation shade looks like so that's really helpful and if you want to try i'm gonna use the settings the setting spray i'm gonna use the setting powder in a little bit but if you want to try out their entire face kit they have a kit and it has the primer the foundation and the setting powder on the pat mcgrath website which will be linked down below um that would be the perfect kit to get to try out the entire set so like i said i'm using shade medium 15 and this right now is the perfect shade for me this is the packaging by the way super luxe i love the packaging i don't even want to throw away the box i want to just keep it in here and then this is the actual foundation very sleek packaging it's super super nice and it does have a pump when i first got the foundation i was gonna do like a first impression video but whenever i do sponsored content i like to try out the product first to make sure that it's something that i would actually recommend to you guys so i have already been testing this for a while i just want to let you guys know that this is not like a first impression kind of thing i've already used it and i do really like it the way i use it so i pump some on the back of my hand you can see it's pretty 
um, runny. It's like going kind of slow, but it is pretty runny. It's not a super thick formula whatsoever. So I like to apply this first with a brush. I'm using my Morphe M439. You guys already know this is my favorite. So I take some from the back of my hand and I tap it onto my problem, my problem areas. And I actually like to let this sit for a little bit before completely blending it. And the reason I do that is because it's not a full coverage foundation. This is more of a light coverage buildable to a medium coverage. So I do build it up. Lately, because it's so hot here in Cali, I haven't been using as much makeup as I normally do. I've been keeping it pretty lightweight, which you guys know is pretty rare for me. I go for like full coverage foundation okay and once it's kind of sat on my skin for a little bit then I go ahead and blend it now this foundation isn't super matte it's also not super dewy but it is hydrating on the skin so I was reading the specs on the foundation and it actually has a Vita serum complex that's supposed to help to reduce or prevent any wrinkles from forming and like fine lines so that's always nice so it is like more of a hydrating one and with this foundation, you kind of have to take your time. I'm not going to lie. Like you have to take some time to like blend it and take some time to build it up if you want that more intense coverage. But if you don't have any blemishes, this can be a really good everyday foundation. All right. My face is nice and even now, but even without applying anything else, like honestly, don't you guys see how this foundation looks on my skin i still obviously need to put some concealer underneath stuff like that but you can just see how porcelain and soft my skin already looks it looks like a better version of my skin which is why i like this foundation so much and why a lot of other people that have tried the foundation love it so much it's not just the pretty packaging you guys it's actually a good foundation and it like literally speaks for itself so for concealer, because this is more of a light to medium coverage, I do want to add a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes. So I'm using my e.l.f. concealer, and this is in the shade medium beige. And I want to keep this skin like look like for the rest of my face. So I'm only going to do the concealer right under my eyes, nowhere else. And this is a full coverage concealer, so you do not need to apply a lot when you take out the dofa applicator you can just like swipe off concealer because it comes out a lot taking my elf sponge too and blending this out before i go in with the setting powder i am gonna do a little bit of cream bronzing this is my wet n wild mega glow makeup stick i don't have a new product for i don't think i do yeah no i don't so i'll just stick to using this one and i use it in the shade call me maple I just put it on the back of my hand. I just, I love me some good old cream bronzer, especially right now, cause you can see that this part of my face looks a little bit lighter. I could have gone in with that deeper foundation shade, but I used this one the past like week or so. Yeah. And I like the shade, so. Nothing that some good old bronzer can't fix. Cool, now all of the liquids are on. Now we can go in with the Pat McGrath setting powder and I use it in light medium too. I also have, let me show you actually. I also sometimes use the same one in light one or I even mix them because this one's more yellow, you can see, and this one's more of a translucent light powder. So I will either mix the two or just use the light medium too. This one right here is good if you want like super brightening under eyes but we're gonna stick to light medium too for today since the foundation is a little bit more on the hydrating side i do like to use this powder to kind of set my face overall like a sheer layer on the rest of my face to kind of mat it all out all right everything is nice and set you can see just look at my complexion look at my complexion i'm not even done with bronzing and with blush and with highlighter so i'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick and then i'm gonna show you a blush a highlighter and like a few other things that i've been loving too 
I'm gonna move you guys a little bit this way because I kind of like the lighting a lot better over here. Okay, my brows are on. Now we can bronze. So this is the Morphe. I'm realizing I'm using like quite a few, actually a lot of drugstore stuff, which is good. So my Morphe bronzer, this is in Debutante. I never know how to pronounce it, but I got this one at Ulta. And it's this kind of neutral color, which I don't normally go for, but I tried this a while ago and I really liked it. So I haven't used it in a while though. And I just run this. You can see how pigmented this is. So you do not need a lot. And this does give you more of like a chiseled contour look. But you have to make sure to really blend it or else it can kind of get muddy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think that's good. And now my face looks a lot more balanced with the rest of my body. For highlighter, we have these from CoverGirl. These are the True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow Highlighters. And I have two shades. I have the shade gilded glory and the shade pearl crush but i think i'm gonna do gilded glory because this one's more this one's more of a gold and this is more of a light champagne color and light champagne colors can look a little like not good on me so i always go for more of like the golds look at how pretty this is and i've never tried this highlighter before this is the first time that i'm using it Do you guys see that? And I barely even I think I put too much. Oh. This is like an Instagram picture, like Instagram makeup picture kind of highlighter because it's pretty. Look at that. It's pretty intense, but it looks so nice on the skin. It looks very. How do you say it? Wet. I got this really nice box from Bare Minerals and these are their bounce, their new Bounce and Blur collection. There are blushes and eyeshadows in here. Let me kind of show you. These are blushes and these are eyeshadow palettes. But I'm gonna use a blush today from here. And I'm kind of stuck between two different ones so i've tried the bare minerals blushes and they are so nice so i already know i'm gonna like these two but the two shades that i'm kind of in between is the bare minerals bounce and blur coral cloud which is obviously more of a coral color and the blurred buff oops <laughs> which is more of a nudish this would focus this is more of a nude pinky color and there's this one. I kind of want to go for... I'm thinking I should go for more of a coral. I'm guessing because of the name, I'm supposed to like bounce it on my skin. And it's supposed to like blur any imperfections too. Which is very key because around my cheeks, I do have more of my larger pores. This color is so pretty. You can kind of see it appearing on my skin. I thought it was going to be a lot more intense but i like my blushes to be this way i like them to be buildable because if i go in with too much blush it's like you can't really go back after that these are honest beauty liquid lipsticks i have the color bff and off duty i think i'm gonna do bff oh my god this is the perfect not nude but this is the perfect lip color that looks exactly like my natural lip color I'm here for this color. It looks like my lips are just like perfectly even. Because my bottom lip, I think it's my bottom lip that's darker than my top lip. So this like evens it out and it adds some color. It's not exactly like my lip color. It does add color to my lips. But I like it. My hair is all done. I didn't even curl it. These are curls from yesterday. And all I did was kind of like slick down this part and put some bobby pins. And my hair is done. So now... The last thing for my face is this Honest, or I already showed you guys, the Elevated Hydration Mist. So I'm just going to finish off. And then my perfume for today. So this is another product that I have been 
obsessed with. So this is the Way North Bondi Eau de Perfume. I went to Sephora and I was looking at the Way hair care stuff, like their shampoos. I do love their hair oil and stuff like that. And I saw that they had fragrances, which I didn't even know. So I smelled this one and they have a rose one too. The rose one smells just like their rose hair and body oil. And this one smells just like their shampoo, their conditioner, and like some of the other products they have. It smells so clean and fresh. And every time that I've wore this perfume, I've gotten compliments so it's been my go-to lately because not only do i like it but a lot of other people like it too so i just spray this i don't just spray it on my body i spray this on my hair too so literally everywhere and i like spraying it in my hair because it smells like their hair stuff and then whenever i'm like moving around or my hair's flowing in the wind everyone kind of picks up a whiff of what i'm wearing just go in sephora and just smell this it smells super clean and super fresh and it literally smells just like their shampoo and conditioner it smells super good i actually liked everything that i used today even like the new makeup so that's pretty much everything that like makeup and beauty wise that i've been loving recently and now i'm gonna go around and kind of show you guys my room i am really loving my makeup though i'm not gonna lie my makeup and my hair i feel like my hair is so simple but it kind of goes with the makeup look. Anyway, I don't know if I already showed you guys this little, I think I did, this plant on this side. I ended up moving it here. And I got this basket. Like I said, I always keep the tags on until after I have it for a few days. Because I like to really see if it's going to be something that I want to keep. So I just got this one literally a few days ago. And I have all my perfumes on here. I've never displayed my perfumes. By the way, I'm missing the way one. <laughs> make sure to put this one back i've never displayed my perfumes i always have them in my drawers kind of like hidden and i thought this little basket would be really cute to add texture to this little thing this tv stand slash drawer situation <laughs> but also because it kind of stores all of my perfumes i don't have a lot of them but these are like all of my favorites and then on this side i i mentioned this on my insta story and to you guys before too i really need a new drawer but i don't want to buy one until i move because i want to make sure it's a piece that i'm gonna love and keep for a while i'm trying to be a lot smarter with what i like things that i buy so on this corner i have this um vase from home goods i love the texture of this vase i love the colors the tones it's very it also adds like more texture to my room but it's still on the more neutral side these two i got at tj maxx and then on top right here in this corner i have this pendant light and i got this at home goods it was 39.99 they had a few but i ended up just getting one for this corner and i just when i turn it on it just adds some brightness to the side of the room because i don't have a lamp or anything on this side and i'm obsessed with how this corner of my room looks except for obviously my drawers because they're all broken and stuff by the way i'm gonna do a fall clothing haul very soon i'm gathering a bunch of stuff like a summer to fall clothing haul so i'm excited for that but that is what this corner of my room is looking like i did also get a new rug which i'm obsessed with i love the pattern i love the tones i love the texture i love everything i'm all about as you guys know neutrals but i'm trying to add more texture to my room that's like the key word of this video is texture but i love this rug i got it on sale at home goods so it was originally i think like 300 or something like that and it was on super sale i think it was i want to say like 180 or something like that i don't know why it was on sale it's not like dirty or ripped anywhere so I don't know i think i just got lucky and then i still have these this plant over here and these flowers and all of these products that i need to find a home for i mentioned to you guys that i wanted to get another closet right here but i don't know if i want to do that i don't know if i want to spend that money because i don't know if i'm going to be here like how much longer i'm going to be here so i don't want to do all that and then i don't even end up using it so i'm still kind of like on standby with that and these flowers i'm just saving them um i don't know where to put those i did also get this really nice throw from home goods and it was i think it was like 20 bucks 
I love the tones. It's a little more like Spanish style. I've been very inspired by where, where we stood in Cabo. I loved the tones and just the Spanish vibe. So I've, try, I've been trying to look for more stuff like that. That still kind of goes with what I'm going for. And this side is still the same. I still have that like plant and these little couches. And then I think that's pretty much... Oh no, I still have this stuff over here. So right here... It's still the same. I'm not loving this frame. I still haven't even put a picture in there, but I don't think I'm going to keep this one. And then I found this. I keep my... Remember how I had the other one over here? This is where I keep like bobby pins and some memory cards. I got this one, I think at TJ Maxx. Yeah, I think it was TJ Maxx. And I love also like the design on here. And on this side, I have another one. I have my texture spray. <laughs> I have a taller one that has a different design. Here's this one and there's that one. You can see the height difference. But I got this one right here and I just have coins in there. Quarters, pennies, dimes. This plant is from TJ Maxx. And then I just have my speaker and my little mirror. So those are all kind of like the little trinkets that I've picked up recently. From Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and a little bit of Marshalls. I do want to show you guys the prices. I didn't even show you. This one was $12.99. I always keep the sticker so I can show you guys, and then I'm going to take it off after. $16.99 for the plant. This other little one was $7.99. The basket on this side, I don't think I told you guys the price. $9.99. This vase was $24.99. I freaking love this vase. They had another one that was a different, like it was sculpted differently, but I just loved it this one and then this one right here <laughs> like i said i keep everything on it because i want to make sure i give you guys the right prices this one was 16.99 i'm gonna head off and start my day i think i'm gonna start a whole new vlog after this kind of doing i don't know if i want to do my fall clothing haul or what i'm gonna do after this but i'm gonna go to target right now so i just wanted to show you guys some new makeup the new products and the things i've been loving and also some of my new home decor i know you guys like following along with me when i like decorate and stuff and i i don't know i just love showing you guys my style and my vibe because i feel like a lot of you like similar things that i do anyways i thank you guys so much for watching again a huge thank you to pat mcgrath for sponsoring a portion of today's video I will, again, have a link down below for you guys to shop the items that I used from them today and also so you can check out their kit that has the primer, the foundation, and the setting powder. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Los quiero mucho. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thumbs up this video. And I will see you all in my next video.